Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the round of 16 in the Euros. Um, sorry I haven't updated in a while, but we'll get through the games now. Um, we started off with Switzerland and Italy and Italy were just poor. Italy were terrible. I mean, they've not been that great all tournament really, have they? I don't know how they got through, but I just don't know... It, Italian, Italian football, well, they won the World Cup, well, that was 2010, wasn't it? And in the past, what, 14, 15 years, it's just been non-existent. Like, uh, the last Euros, I don't know how they got to the final and won it. Still to this day, I don't know, because their team is poor. They are just not good at all. I mean, the World Cup, they didn't even qualify. And the Euros, they barely got through the round of the group stages and into the round of 16 and Switzerland have just been on fire Switzerland have done really well um, <clears throat> they came just behind Germany they drew to a really late late goal by Germany or they could have topped the group but I think they'll be happy with this because this is they're in the easier bracket to be fair um going through Italy and then they've got England and England have not been up to the races at all and if Switzerland are on their game I can see them easily beating England but we shall see about that um, then we had Germany oh, Germany and Denmark uh, I didn't actually watch this game I watched the Switzerland game because they were both on at the same I think they were both on at the same time or did I just... I, well, for some reason I didn't watch it, so I can't really comment, but... You know what I mean? It was it was always going to be Germany, wasn't it? I don't think Denmark would have had enough to really... Oh, that is way off centre. Uh, yeah, I don't think Germany would have really... I mean, Denmark would have really had too much to trouble Germany and they go through um, then on the Sunday we had uh, England and Slovakia um, another poor England performance terrible I mean Slovakia got that 25th minute goal and they just held on they on occasion attacked but England again like Bellingham was rubbish Kane was rubbish Foden was rubbish Saka was rubbish um Royce wasn't that great. Mainu actually had a decent game, I'll give him that. The defence was the defence. Um and yet again Gareth Southgate we were losing and he decides to make really late changes. Um he bought Palmer on for Trippier, only because Trippier got injured and came off. And then he put Saka at left back and Palmer up top. And then he bought on then he brought on Eze, put Eze at left back, Saka back up in attack. It was just all over the place. Um, and then he's like, oh, you know what, we need to change the game. He brings on Ivan Tony on the 88th minute. Like, from half-time, they needed to make changes. And if he'd have made changes at half, proper changes, and brought out a few players, things would have gone better. Um at the end of the day, England got a 95th minute equaliser, another late goal. Um, I mean, it was a beautiful over a kick. It was just, it was superb. It was just Bellingham doing Bellingham things, but Bellingham should be that moment of magic. Bellingham should be doing that for 90 minutes, or at least like 75, you know, cut him a bit of slack. But he just wasn't. Um, and then. To be fair, Tony came on, he got an assist. It showed that maybe England could do with two up top. Maybe have Kane and Watkins or Kane and Tony. And then Saka on the right. Um, Gordon on the left. And then have Bellingham and Rice in the middle. But... We all know that won't happen. We all know we're going to go into the next game against Switzerland. He'll play the same team and say, oh, yeah, but uh, 
the cohesion of the team are playing together and playing like, no, they're just not playing well. Like Kane got that goal, but Kane's been non existent the whole tournament really. He had a tap in and this goal against Slovakia. But it's just an argument that no one's ever gonna win. It's we're just not playing well enough. We're just playing so poorly. And we really need to step it up against Switzerland because Switzerland are not going to... They're not they're not these teams that are like, oh, we'll hold off and then we'll counter. They're going to hit England and they're going to go for it. And I, I do worry for England. Um, but yeah, then we go to Spain, Georgia. Now, this game... Fair play to Georgia. They've they've got through. They gave it their all, um, and honestly, they got the own goal. And they were they were at it for the first half, and then the second half came, and Spain just turned it on. It was just it was just like this is what England should have done. Spain were just it was like oh, what are we gonna do, and then they just turned a switch and never looked back and. Ended up winning 4-1. Thoroughly deserved. But fair play to Georgia. You've got to hand it to them. They were tough. They were a tough team to play against. And they did well. Uh, And then yesterday we had France versus Belgium. And Portugal and Slovenia. Right? Two completely different games. France versus Belgium was atrocious. Belgium were crap. France were crap. France win by I mean it was just it was just a really terrible piece of defending. He just kind of flicks his leg at it and it bounces. It um oh, I think it was a shot from someone. And he just kind of flicks his leg out and it hits it and it goes over the keeper. The keeper's already committed so he can't He's committed and he can't change direction. and uh, It was just, well, it was such a bad game. Both teams have played crap all tournament. And a, a known goal. A known goal won it. Um, and then we go to Portugal and Slovenia. Now, a lot of people go... I told you, Slovenia were uh, England didn't beat Slovenia. So, the, but the thing is, though, Portugal played really well. Slovenia played really well. Slovenia, their defense was just out of this world. Um, Portugal just threw everything at them. Um, Ronaldo was desperate for a goal, and he kept wasting free kicks as well. Where you could have had like Bruno Fernandes on him, um, but he was he's just adamant about getting this goal, and he's Ronaldo hasn't really played well. To be fair, he hasn't played well this tournament, and um, uh, Portugal get a penalty in extra time, and he misses, and he was devastated. You could tell he was he was crying. He was upset. I think it was just like he just he. I don't think it's for Portugal. I think it's for his own selfish glory. But he's desperate to get a goal, and at least, I mean, you can tell he's off the ball. He's shouting and screaming. He has chances. He's if he misses like chances that he feels he should have scored, he will reprimand himself, and he won't be happy. And. I guess that's the kind of player you need. He's someone that will take responsibility for his own actions. And but we went all the way through to penalties, and it was. I've never seen a more one-sided penalty kick, uh, penalty shootout, and I've never seen in my life it end on three after three penalties, because. Ronaldo steps up and scores. I think. Who else is it? Um. 
Ah, there we go. We've got a bit of a timeline. Uh, Ronaldo, Bruno Fernandes and Bernardo Silva and Slovenia missile three. And they didn't just missile three. It was Diogo Costa saving all three penalties. And I've got to mention as well, like literally towards the end of extra time, Ben Pepe slips. Like, he, he kind of gets to pass it and he's just... He's too tired. He's a 41-year-old man. And Sesco is in. Sesco bombs. He probably should have scored, to be fair. And he takes a shot, but he hits it on the ground. He doesn't, like, lift it round the keeper, round the side, or over him or anything. He just kind of tries to hit it to the right and in the corner. And Costa makes a save. And Costa saved all three Slovenia penalties. So, fair play to Costa. It was great goalkeeping. And he thoroughly deserves it. He thoroughly deserves all the plaudits and all the praise. Man of the match. Everything. Um, today we have the last of this round of 16. We've got Romania and Holland and Austria and Turkey. Austria and Turkey is going to be a good one. I think Austria can get a result there. And I'm hoping, because I'm my sweepstake team is Romania. And I'm going up against my mum who drew Netherlands as well. So I hope, because Holland haven't been Holland have been poor, Holland have been terrible. Um, so then we have got Spain, Germany, which should be a good one. Portugal, France, another good game. And then we got England, Switzerland, and whoever wins out of these, I'm gonna probably go Romania, Austria, unless Holland decide to turn up and actually play football. But yeah. I think that'll be the next game. Um, I think I'll go Germany here. I think I'll go... F- I want to say Portugal, but I think possibly France. That is going to be up in the air. It's like in- inverted flags. Um, but yeah, I I don't know what who to call that. It depends depends whether England make changes and actually play better because I can if not I can see Switzerland kind of going one two nil ahead and England struggling to catch back up but those are the rest of the games for the round of 16 and the quarter finals um so yeah thank you very much for watching I hope you have enjoyed it if you have then please like comment subscribe ring the notification bell all that lovely stuff and I shall catch you guys in the next video um Have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, or have a good night. And I shall see you next time. See you later. Bye-bye.